transforming your life in six months can it be done yeah is it going to be easy hell no it's going to be very very difficult but let's be honest nothing worth having comes easy in this video i'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process that i feel like anyone can follow to level up their life in six months by the end of this video you'll have a clear roadmap of a better and more fulfilled version of yourself whether you're stuck in a rut wanting to pursue a new direction whatever direction that might be or just looking to optimize your daily habits these methods will hopefully help you get there get clear on your goals so the first and most important step is to get crystal clear on what you're trying to achieve in six months it can really be huge it can be something small as well it really doesn't matter the main thing is that you have a crystal clear target somewhere where you want to be i think it's also important to look at why aren't you happy with your life right now or maybe you are happy with your life maybe you just want to make it better and then figure out the steps to go from there to the next phase the next stage where you've achieved what you want to achieve i think what's very important is to keep it simple because i found from experience that people overcomplicate it they look at all the stuff that they need to do to get to their goal and it kind of just becomes overwhelming and i go through exactly the same thing when i know a task or a project or something is really big it can become quite overwhelming for me i'm like i don't really want to do this i'll try and push it off but then i've realized actually breaking it down into smaller tasks can really help a book that i really like which i'm sure most people will be aware of is atomic habits by james clear try to get better one percent every day and after a while those one percent changes that you make those one percent improvements that you make can really add up can really compound over a long period of time even though this might seem very obvious but it is super crucial is writing down your goals making sure you have them written down somewhere whether it's on paper maybe you have it on a piece of paper or a sticky note and you put it at, on your desk or put it somewhere where you read it every morning maybe on your mirror when you get up in the morning or something like that just make sure you have it somewhere so you can clearly see the goals you're trying to get to because you have to keep reminding yourself okay this is why i'm doing this i think having that constant reminder of this is why i'm doing this can really help you achieve those goals now why is it important to write your goals down well there have actually been multiple studies that show that writing your goals down enhances your ability to visualize them remember them making you more likely to achieve them. a good way to break down a goal like i said is to break it down into smaller tasks smaller things that you can achieve for example let's say you wanted to run a 5k park run you could break this down into five steps get a pair of running shoes of course you're going to need a pair of running shoes find a running training plan youtube is of course a great place to find plans and tutorials number three commit to three days a week where you'll walk for 30 minutes and then number four take that up a notch maybe after a month maybe after two months you swap out the walks for runs and then number five stretch five days a week for 10 minutes just having those things broken down into steps a clear sort of list of things that you need to do that will help you achieve the goal it will just make your life a lot lot easier embrace a high income skill so one of the most impactful things that you can do is learn a high income skill i keep going on about high income skills because i feel like they're very very important i've done numerous videos on them i think having a high income skill can really just take your life to the next level learning a high income skill can really open up your opportunities to earn more money to increase your earning potential and just gain more freedom in your work and life as a whole the idea is that you learn something that you can then use to make more money so skills like video editing web design public speaking sales marketing copywriting those are just to name a few there are so many other skills that you can learn that can help you make more money the main thing is that they are skills that are in high demand and can actually pay well they can also scale well if you know how to scale them and the great thing is that many of these high income skills can also filter through to other aspects of your life so public speaking is a great example if you can embrace the idea of speaking in front of people or even speaking in front of camera like i do it can really help you understand what it takes to communicate understand what it takes to talk to someone or a group of people that can of course help you in so many other parts of life if you can embrace public speaking because now you have the confidence of being able to just talk to someone being able to talk to in front in front of lots of other people and sort of just share whatever you want to share one of my biggest life changes was learning how to edit video create content sort of just do social media in general content creation and video editing are very highly lucrative skills in today's sort of digital age with platforms like youtube and tiktok especially quality content is always in demand and i always get this question hey ollie like you know isn't everything already saturated isn't youtube saturated isn't tiktok saturated and i think that's absolute nonsense it's the same as saying hasn't every movie or tv show already been made and yes every movie and tv show has already been made but people still have their own twists on things and i think that can be done exactly the same 
when it comes to content creation and sort of putting stuff online. If video editing is a skill that you would like to learn, then Storyblocks is a fantastic resource. They're also sponsoring this video. As a content creator, I constantly need B-roll footage to keep my videos engaged. Filming B-roll though can take hours and of course there's extra costs. With Storyblocks, I have access to a huge library of high quality stock footage that I can download instantly. This lets me focus more on sort of the storytelling, on the video creation, rather than having to spend hours sort of finding b-roll shooting b-roll myself storyblocks can also save me a ton of time when it comes to finding the right music in the past when i first started making youtube videos my videos would sometimes get taken down for copyright infringement because it was just hard finding royalty free music with storyblocks's extensive library of royalty free music I don't have to worry about copyright claims anymore and I can quickly find the perfect track. My editing process has never been easier. Storyblocks has everything I need in one place, whether I'm editing for YouTube, whether I'm editing for Instagram or TikTok. Their creator stock library contains tons of different footage, 4K footage, templates, music, sound effects, and images. Plus their unlimited downloads for one predictable subscription cost makes my workflow efficient and budget friendly. The best part about Storyblocks is the peace of mind it provides. Everything I download, I know is 100% royalty to free so I don't have to worry about legal issues. If you want to elevate your video editing game and save valuable time and money, I highly recommend checking out Storyblocks. Head over to storyblocks.com slash online or click the link in the description below. Another question I get is, how do I learn a high income skill? Where, you know, where do I sort of go to learn a high income skill? YouTube really is the best place. YouTube is a great place to find so many different resources for learning anything and everything. It's how I've learned pretty much anything, everything. You can, of course, go to other places, maybe course websites, find courses from creators and stuff. That's a good way to learn more sort of minute details. And the great thing about courses is, is usually they have a lot of this information and a lot of things that you need to know all in sort of one concise package, one place where you can learn it all. But I would recommend if you can, try and learn as much as you can for free because anything you want to learn is freely available online. Prioritize your health. So even though it can be easy to sort of just knuckle down, focus on how you want to change your life, I really do believe that prioritizing your health and taking that into account when it comes to trying to change your life can be just as important as whatever it is you're trying to do to change your life in the first place because having a healthy body, healthy mind really can absolutely change your life it can help you learn so many different things obviously from my own experience having cancer in the past i know that when you're ill it really is just the worst thing ever because all you're thinking about is how can i be healthy a lot of people take a healthy body healthy mind for granted and i think a lot of people realize how valuable that is and if you can make that even better by having good health good fitness good diet good eating habits all these different things just a good healthy overall life it can help in so many other parts of your life and i've learned that firsthand ever since obviously having my cancer diagnosis going through the treatment and stuff you know i was very very ill naturally i lost all my hair from chemotherapy and stuff and i knew that as soon as i finished my chemotherapy i needed to focus on making my health my top priority so eating properly and just being in shape being healthy were my top priorities since then and it's so funny because i look at pictures from back then and i look so different to what i look now all because i just take my health a lot more seriously the most important thing like i said is if you take your health seriously it will very much translate into other parts it will very much fall into other parts of your life and it will help make your life a lot better getting your finances in order from my experience wow it is crazy how many people to me just don't really understand how important it is to manage your financial life if you're watching my channel you're most likely already ahead of people because you're actually thinking about it you're actively thinking about how can i make my finances better how can i make more money how can i manage my finances stuff like that so by watching this video alone and for subscribing to me i am hoping you guys already take it quite seriously but financial stress can really hold you back if you know you have debts if you know you can't afford this if you know you can't afford that it can really affect your mental health i found as well and that's been the case for me i think it's absolute rubbish when you hear people say that money doesn't make you happy that's so easy to say because I feel like for me personally, money has completely changed my life. And I think it's because I know what it's like to not have any money whatsoever, like completely nothing. So if you're in that same position, money really can solve so many different issues. Now, is it going to fix your love life? Is it going to fix your relationships, your friendships, things like that? No, no, those are other parts of your life 
that you have to tackle that money will not fix but money can really fix so many other problems managing money is also very simple i think a lot of people feel like they need to find these tricks and hacks and it's really over complicated it's not it's like actually quite simple there's just a few steps cutting costs as much as possible living below your means is very very important a lot of people will spend every penny they get, but it's very important to live below your means so that you have money that you can invest, so that you have money for an emergency fund. These are very, very important. Emergency fund is another step that I think something that a lot of people don't have. A lot of people do sort of live month to month, but what if you suddenly lose your job? What if you suddenly stop making money? How are you gonna afford your rent, your bills, your other sort of utilities, whatever it might be, for the next six to 12 months? I think it's very important to have an emergency fund that you can have for six to 12 months so that worst case scenario you have six to 12 months to get your life back in order to find another job to, to earn money again emergency funds are very very important not having any debt is another big one reduce debt as much as possible don't take on debt if you can the only debt i personally have is my mortgage for my house i don't have any other debts that's literally the only debt i've really ever had i've never had credit card debt or anything like that because that can really be a killer try and avoid debt as much as possible especially high interest debt low interest debt like a mortgage i mean it depends i guess because interest rates are all over the place these days but if you can get a mortgage that is quite low interest usually that's actually quite good money to use because now you can invest the rest of your money and that's the next step investing your money try invest your money into s p 500 or just something simple stocks shares are quite simple and easy to do i have other videos going through sort of investing and stuff like that so make sure to check those out so i won't go into super detail on how to invest but please do check out my other videos on investing if you can cover all these sort of steps when it comes to managing your money that's all you really need to do you don't need to be super smart or anything like that i feel like anyone is smart enough to manage money optimize your environment so this is something i take very very seriously i'm sure many of you who watch my other channel know that I love doing desk setup videos. I love doing sort of house tours and things like that, showing setup videos. I really do believe that making your environment that you're working, making your environment that you live in comfortable, designed for you, is just a great way to help you achieve things. So obviously because most of the stuff that I do, most of my work is sat behind a computer, I have this really nice studio space that looks great. It's comfortable. I can sit here, I can focus, I can do my work. Just having a nice environment, a comfortable environment, where you can get stuff done can really help you excel and make sure that you actually get stuff done. Implement a productivity system. So I've done a video recently on my empty calendar system. And the idea is that if you can implement a system in your life where you know it will make you productive because everyone's system will be completely different try and figure out what that is so it might be time blocking it might actually be using a calendar maybe you are someone who needs to use a calendar i just prefer to have a free calendar maybe it's something like having a routine so this is something that's important to me i have quite a good routine where my day usually is quite similar day to day and i know that i have blocks of time where i actually need to get stuff done so having a sort of system in place where you can be focused on getting stuff done, again, that's just very important. Working out that system for you, trying to figure out what works for you, figure that out. Like it will really help you achieve your goals. Consume inspiring content. So naturally a lot of people complain about YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, you know, you're sort of doom scrolling, constantly looking through stuff. But I really do feel like YouTube, Instagram and TikTok can very much be tailored to actually help inspire you to make your life better. A lot of people though, just don't tailor their feeds and sort of follow the right people if you spend time following the right people following people that inspire you following people that post stuff that actually can educate you maybe it's self-development maybe it's business maybe it's creative maybe it's design just something like that try and create your own feed and don't let the algorithm show you just nonsense because it's so easy to fall into that trap and this is why i love youtube instagram and tiktok you know i don't have any limits on how i use those apps the main thing is though, that I have tailored my feeds and the people I follow to see content that inspires me, to see content that motivates me, to see content that educates me. Now, these apps can either ruin your mind or change your mind. You ultimately decide. And then finally, take massive, massive action. Nothing you do in life, no big changes or anything like that will ever happen without massive action like i said earlier in the video nothing worth having comes easy because anything with value usually requires some hard work it usually requires some steps to get there otherwise of course it wouldn't be valuable you have to be willing to get uncomfortable to do things differently to change your life to change your mindset i remember when i was in my early 20s the massive action i took was actually because of something else and i think for a lot of people who need to take massive action you need something that 
is going to drive you. So of course for me it was that I just didn't have anything. I was broke, I didn't have any money, I was living at home with parents and I just thought to myself, I don't want this. So I basically just stopped any distractions. At that time in my life, I was very much a hermit, you could say. I kind of just stayed at home focusing on trying to work out how I could make money, learning new skills, sort of just making myself better, I was just educating myself. Now, of course, that means making some sacrifices. Like I said, I sort of stayed at home, I didn't really see friends. I sort of just focused on doing whatever I needed to do. My social life took an absolute hit, but I knew that I needed to do this if I wanted to achieve the goals that I wanted to achieve, if I wanted to get out from the position that I was currently in. So taking massive action, I think, is the best way to sort of shock yourself into a system, shock yourself into doing something that you need to do to achieve your goals. It's funny because now I think to myself, six months actually isn't that long. Like, I feel like, can you really do much in six months? But boy, like you really can. When I think back to all the things that I've done, wow, like I've sometimes changed my life in a month or in a couple of months, you know, health, uh, finances, all these different things. Like your life can change very, very quickly. As long as you're fully focused on that thing, yeah, you can change your life even quicker if you really need to. But a lot of people find it difficult to make the commitment. And I think being disciplined enough to keep the commitment, to stay, to sort of stick with it, that is the thing that's going to really help change your life in three months, six months, 12 months, years, whatever it might be. For anyone interested, I've put together a six month transformation planner. It's a free template that you guys can download and you can use to hopefully change your life as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.